Hello YouTube. First video. Bear with me. Got to show off my new toy. XDM 40 caliber Biotone. Springfield. Love it. Comes a great case. Great case. Use it for a variety of different things. Got a good deal on it. Bought it at a local place here in Virginia. 40 caliber. Tickled to death with the price. Okay, you got your Picatinny rails. Both sides. You can hook your mag loader, lights, tack lights, you buy extra for your guns or whatever on it. Okay. Alright. Well, let's open her up. Take a peek at her. Alright. I know there's a lot of videos out there that reviews these, what comes in the cases and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go over that really quick. Let you all, whoever's interested, get a good close look at the gun. And if uh, my opinion counts, what I think of it. So, got you two mags, 16 rounders. I read a video or uh, watched a video there one time. The, the mags, the springs in the mags are really, really tight when you first get them. What I did, listen to a fella, I forget his name now, but I uh, said load them up, 16 rounds in the magazine, let them sit for two or three days. You won't have a problem. The problem I had was getting the mag into the gun. So, but it's tight when you first get them. You got to break them in a little bit. Other than that, no problems. I love it. Like I said, two 16 round mags come with it. Mag loader. A little system here. You hook onto your double magazine pouches. Hook it right in there. Hook it on the side. Your mobile. You bring your mag, your mag uh, loader with you. Adjustment screw here. Comes with an Allen wrench with it and a lock. Just hit that button right there, pull it right off. Not a bad one. Not a bad magazine. Not a bad speed loader. And like I said, lock, Allen wrench, and a wire brush comes with it. Got your holster. It's got your adjustment screw here. You can adjust it how tight you want it to hold your gun. A lot of them don't like the paddle holster. A lot of videos I've watched. I myself, I like it pretty good. Works good for the range. Wouldn't be good to carry out, you know, concealed or anything, but this is a pretty good sized gun. I, don't, I wouldn't buy it for concealed anyway. I'm using it just for HD, home defense, and uh, shooting out behind the house in the woods. I got a pretty good place up there and, uh, that I can shoot whenever I want to. But I like the I like the holster. Two back strap system. I got the large and the small in here. The medium I got on it. Tried out the small and the large. Medium fits my hand the best, so that's what I'm sticking with. No magazine. I did safety check it already. We'll do it again. I know a lot of people's pretty uh ain't no about that. Nothing in the chamber. No mag. See right through her. Okay. There it is, broke down. Full length guide rod. Match grade barrel. As you can see, match grade. Right there. Same serial numbers as on the slide. So they match. I like the front serrations. I like the back. Good grip on it. Excellent sights. Love these sights compared to the XDs. These sights uh, a lot better. Just white dot. I'm thinking about getting tritium later. It is the the 4.5 inch barrel, as you can see, and the 40 caliber. Of course, I've probably said it a bunch of times. 
easy to break down, easy to put back together. You got your trigger safety right here. Ambidextrous mag release, both sides. Let you know the safety here, just like the 1911. That's got to be pressed in in order to fire, shoot, or rack the slide. I love it. I probably put probably close to 300 rounds to this gun. I've had it for two weeks. Really wanted to try it out and check it out and make sure I loved it. Then I'm just new to YouTube. Yeah, I've been under a rock somewhere. I am new to YouTube. But last probably last two months or so I've been doing a lot of a searching on there, watching videos and stuff about the XDs, XDN, Springfield logo on the slide. Nice. Real system here for your light, laser, whatever. Nice big trigger guard. It's cold out, you want to shoot, got gloves on, you've got plenty of room to get them fingers in there. Loaded chamber indicator comes up and rounds in there. Cocking indicator right there. It shows you that it is cocked. You see it's sticking out the back here. And uh, beautiful gun. I love it. I've got a Kimber 45. It's a custom tactical 2. And I love that gun. I love it too. I can shoot this one just about as good as I can shoot that one. So if that gets you any, any indication of uh, how much I like it or how good it shoots, then that should because the Kimber is up there among the top. Love the grips. Great grips. Like I said, easy to take down. Plenty of videos out there that shows you how to take them down. There's nothing to it. I'll give you a quick one here. Let's take it back. Flip this lever right here up, just like that. Flip that up. Okay. Release it. Hold it here. Then you release your. Let the slide go down. Comes right off the front, just like so. I have been shooting, and it's pretty dirty because I ain't. Put uh, a little over 100 rounds in it today. And you got your spring, nice beefy spring. Everything, put it right back on just like you took it off. Put it right on right there. Let it come back. Bring it back. Push that little lever up right there. Hold it. Flip your lever back down. You're good to go. Good to go. It is empty. Safe direction. Trigger. Oh yeah, almost forgot about the trigger. Match grade trigger. Match grade barrel. Trigger first. The first pull is pretty long. It's kind of stiff, but once you get that little click in it, and get that trigger travel just right, and you let off, shoot. After the first shot, it's just sweet. It is very, very sweet. Takes a little bit getting used to, but I love it. Nothing bad I can say about it. Like I said, I had it a little over two weeks. Put close to 300 rounds to it. Can't say nothing bad about it. No malfunctions, no stove pipes, no failure to cycle, nothing. Once I quit uh, back off on the firing real fast, I like getting up there shooting real fast. Once I slow down, see how it's shooting, it's shooting dead on, buddy. It's dead on accurate, I love it. Well, my first video, YouTube, new to YouTube. Love my gun, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you like, you like the video, tell me about it. If you dislike it, tell me about it. Don't really care. There's the business end. All right, XDM40, my new toy. Had to show it off. 
Of course, you get all your papers and stuff back in here and all that blah, blah, blah and stuff. But I, I put everything back up. So, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something if that's what you're looking for. And hopefully I'll put up more videos later. Y'all have a good one.